Two days ago, Spline announced that they were introducing Spill to the world. So it's basically a model to generate 3D worlds. Now this is mad because you've normally in Spline got, you know, one single object that you're making or multiple objects that you're making, but not necessarily um, using AI to make them. Now they do have AI functionality within Spline itself. You've got AI generate, you've got AI style transfer, but now with Spell, this is a whole new era. Now, basically what you can do is generate 3D scenes or worlds from an image in just a few minutes. And what's quite exciting is that Spline have given me access to Spell to show you guys a little bit about first impressions of this tool and see what it's all about. Now, one tip that they said is that it works best if you use well-defined objects, um, especially if you're uploading an image to um, Spell to, to see how it works. So let's jump in. So we've got these uh, different examples here on the Explore page of Spell. Um, very, very cool examples. One of my favorites that I saw so far is this uh, Green Guardian. So what's quite inter interesting is that you've got these three little toggles here. You've got this image, and then you've actually got um, the world, this 3D scene. So you can actually see the prompt that they've got. A towering forest guardian, half human, half tree, with glowing tree eyes and bark-like skin. The maddest prompt, but look at this. So crazy how... Like, this is so early on in the process, and they've literally built this whole other tool, Spell, over the last few months, I'd imagine. It's incredible how good this is, considering we're so early on in the process. Look at this. Incredible. So, there's different ways of using Spell that I've found out so far. Um, you can upload an image, so that just opens uh, your folder, or you can type in a prompt. So let's type in a prompt and see what happens. So what I might do is um, I'm going to type in a roaring bear celebrating catching a salmon in Alaska. Alaska. Okay, so I'm going to just type that in and see what comes up. I've tried a few different things um, so far just in prep for this video with very mixed results. Um, but what happens is you basically get a few different options to choose from um, and then you can basically create that 3D scene from there. Wow, these are really fun. Um, I think the mountains behind is pretty cool. Let's go with this one. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm basically getting my scene generated um, from that. It takes a couple of minutes, so let's just see how it goes. Oh, hello. I think it's done. Okay. Let's try this out. So if I click on this and then I scroll, wow, that's so mad. The bear's tail looks a little bit uh, kind of beaver-like. And admittedly, you know, there's a lot of um, a lot of movement on the water that doesn't look that realistic. But I would say that considering this platform is two days old. It is insane what this has ma managed to produce. What's pretty cool is that you can zoom in, check out the bear's features. It's quite like an artistic vibe right now. It's definitely a, yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know what, what the word is, kind of like um, feathered brush strokes or something like that. But 
pretty mad. Pretty mad. And that all came from a prompt of a roaring bear celebrating catching a salmon in Alaska. The video is quite cool, actually. <coughs> We've got like an urban scene behind the behind the bear. He's like he's celebrating in front of other humans. Mad. Oh no, we're gonna start another one. That did take. That did take. Um, I think it was seven hundred seconds, whatever that is in minutes. So, you know, pretty pretty quick considering how um, how we just wrote a prompt and then created a whole three D scene. If I was to actually create that whole three D scene in in spline, like if I was trying to create a bear and then an urban scene. Oh my god, it would take forever. So it's wild how quickly you can achieve that. And I think what's quite interesting is where spline and spell can play together. You know, maybe there's a particular object that you want to create by hand in spline, but then put it into a 3D world. And I think that's where this is going to get really, really interesting, how we can use spell or or ai tools like spell to actually really speed up workflows and create more immersive experiences um on the web and maybe in real life too with you know meta and other things i think everything's about to get more immersive and experiential and i think things like spell are really really going to bring that forward I'm going to carry on playing here, but go check it out, spell.spline.design. Um, right now, you need a paid account um, to actually use this, but if you're interested in uh, pricing, um, it's either free, so you can just try, try it out, and then early support it is $99 a month. <coughs> this um, is is specifically they've actually addressed the uh, pricing here where it says uh, with limited access at an intentionally high price it is only meant for early adopters so we can better understand how you interact with the model and also to keep the GPU expense low during this phase so if you want to try it out check it out and uh, yeah if you want to go the whole whole hog you can be an early supporter but yeah, mad. This platform is about to get crazy. See you on the next video.